to spend of expenditure or make of vows, indeed Allah knows of it. And for the wrongdoers, there are no helpers. So if you disclose your charitable expenditure, that is good. But if you conceal them and give them to the poor, it is better for you. And he will remove from you some of your misdeeds thereby. He will remove your sins because of your charity. And Allah with the, what you do is fully acquainted. So it is clarified here. Charity can be given publicly. It can be given publicly but intention. Intention should be correct and should not be of show off. Now the thing is that certain forms of charity you can give in private. It is possible, for example, if you are given money, you can give it privately. But donation anonymously, you can do that. You can bring food into the masjid and nobody will find out. Just put it and leave it. And you can set up masjid before people come, right? You can clean it. Nobody is there. You are just vacuuming it. This is also an act of righteousness. And there is an act of charity work, fi sabilillah, that can be done privately. But then there are some other good works which cannot be done privately. Meaning, when you do them, they will definitely be seen. For example, if you want to go and help out an Islamic event, you are volunteering. And can you tell all the volunteers, please go away because I want to work in private? No. Your intention is sincere. You can't do that. Likewise, if you are teaching somebody something good, can you do that privately? No, you can't. Because, of course, when you are sharing the ill, others are listening, reading, others are studying. So these things you cannot hide. So what does it mean? That just because an act of righteousness, an act of charity cannot be done in private, it shouldn't be done? No. It should be done. But check your heart. وَقَلْبُ mutawajjun إِلَى اللَّهِ As we start our journey of the Quran, the very first class, that is the thing, is the heart directed to Allah? Is the intention or sincere? Because if the intention is sincere, then that is good. And that deed is beautiful because it will encourage and motivate other people to do that good also. But for sure, remember that secret sadhka has own benefits. So while we do give sadhka openly, we must also try to perform good deeds secretly. Such that nobody finds out. No person knows. It's a secret between you and Allah. You know, for example, these, you know, when we do like collectively some work of deen, that everybody knows. Like, you know, a bunch of people are doing collectively. That's fine. You can't keep that secret. But it will be between you, right? Like, you know, how we are doing collectively some work. Sometimes, you know, you want to do it secretly. You can do. You get many opportunities. Why not? And that secret thing should be between you and Allah. Don't even share with anyone. Until, unless you need to share. Sometimes, you know, you do some charitable work and your parents get concerned and they want to know why you are late or so, you can tell. Even your husband want to know. You can share that much only. And apart from that, you can keep it secret. Prophet ﷺ said that secret charity extinguish the anger of the Allah. So if you ever feel far from Allah, what you have to do? Secret thing. Secret charity. So try to do the things which will, Allah loves it. Importance of charity. Here we see, not upon you, O Muhammad wasalam, is responsibility for their guidance, but Allah guides whom he wills. And whatever good you believe, spend it for yourself and do not spend except seeking the continence of Allah, seeking the face of Allah, wajallah. Every time you give sadhka, keep in mind, I am giving this to be closer to Allah. Who is watching? Allah is watching. 
وَمَا تُنْفِقُ إِلَّا بْتِغَا وَجْهِ اللَّهِ And whatever you spend of good, it will be fully repaid to you. And you will not be wrong. Charity is for poor who have been restricted for the cause of Allah. Unable to move about in the land. Why? Because of their work. Because there are some people who take the work of Allah as full time. They take the service to deen of Allah full time. So if they are doing that full time, when will they go and earn money to fulfill their needs? Because each person has needs. So when will they have the ability to do that? For example, Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, home, there were so many companions who lived in the masjid who would not go and work. Why? Because the whole time, what were they doing? Learning. And you know, Months would go by and they would not have time to go make a single business transaction. Why? Because, for example, Prophet ﷺ, when he went for the battle of the book, it took almost two months. And that was the time of harvest. Now imagine if a person is going out in the way of Allah, then he is going to have time because each person has 24 hours a day. Seven days a week, not more than that. So the time that they have, they are giving it for deen of Allah. And Allah says giving it to them, that is best form of charity. So you see, there are two kinds of things that we can do. Either we should become of those who are working, peaceabilillah, who are working for deen of Allah. Or we should be of those who are helping that cause. How are we helping that cause financially? Because when these two forces, when these two efforts are combined, people and the money, then what will happen? The deen of Allah will advance. But if there are people who are constantly working, but there's no money, then what will happen? How long will they stay hunger? How long will they not pay the bills? They not feed their family. So these are human needs, isn't it? Likewise, if there's a lot of money, but there are no people to give their time, today we have shortage of both talented people as well as money. People don't have skill. They are rather do something else. They don't want to spend their time for the cause of a land. People who do have money, they are rather spend that money on their own luxury on their own ease and comfort and enjoyment, on their pleasure. We see that Prophet ﷺ, the reason why he was successful, the Sahaba, the reason why they were successful is because they combined both of these efforts, the money and the skill. So Allah says, charity is for the people who have been restricted for the cause of Allah, unable to move about in the land. You know, an ignorant person would think themselves sufficient. So ignorant person thinks, oh yeah, they are they got a lot of money, they are rich. But what Allah says, because of their restraints, because they don't beg, but you will know them by their sign. Means you will recognize the need of them on their face. Means they don't ask people persis persistently, whatever you spend of good, indeed Allah is knowing of it. And, you know, continuously talking about spending, that is the most important part in life. So, just spending doesn't mean tangible. It is intangible way also. Not only money and also the skills, time, energy, everything. Those people who spend their wealth in Allah, way by night, day, secretly and publicly. How do they give charity? Open charity, secret charity, in night, in day. Now think about it. Perhaps you didn't, did not give charity in night. Now make sure you give charity in day. If you give charity in day, now make sure you give some form of charity in night. Because look at what is mentioned over here. Allah zina yun fikhuna amwalhum billay. They spend in night. When nahar, they spend in day. Sirran they spend secretly, alaniya and also openly. Meaning, when it comes to charity, then there is no restriction of time, day, place, mood. Whenever the opportunity comes, give charity. 
even if it's little bit it doesn't have to be a lot little they want their share in noble cause in good cause allah says falahum ajruhum in the rabbihim then for them is the reward near their lord wala khawfun alayhim wala hum yahzanun and there shall be no fear concerning them nor will they grieve what does this mean that at the time when people will be afraid who give charity will be free of fear at a time when people will be worried those who give charity will be of free of worry and what is the day of fear and worry it is the day of judgment so there is a hadith prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said zillul mu'minin yawm al-qiyamati sadaqa the shade of a believer on the day of judgment is his charity meaning a believer will be in the shade of his charity on the day of judgment remember that who brought one camel now imagine on the day of judgment there would be 700 camels for him is he alone he is not alone does he have plenty no but he he gave it so that is the importance of you know giving and giving so charity is so important in the life